In a few minutes, the women's team from Detroit City FC will play in the championship game of the Keyworth Showcase. Yeah, it's a bittersweet conclusion to the team's inaugural season. Grant Herms shows us how this team navigated this coronavirus season without one crucial element. The DCFC women are here getting ready for their game, the end of their very short season, all of it played without their very famous fans. In the American soccer world, DCFC is famous for its crowds. The party-like community atmosphere brought by the Northern Guard. And when the club announced they were launching a women's team last fall, they expected the new team to play for a packed house. But this weekend, to end the team's four-week season, Keyworth Stadium sits empty, although fans still made their support known. You know, of course they couldn't be there, but their presence was definitely felt just with the signs that they made, um, the smoke bombs, which was hilarious. When players started signing on back in March, the virus had just begun to take hold. Quarantined and unable to practice, putting a team together was difficult. About a month ago, we started when we got the green light that we can actually do some in-person training stuff. Uh, prior to that, we did some Zoom stuff. Now together, the players aren't forced into a bubble like the NBA or their counterparts on the men's team. Because the women aren't paid, many have day jobs and are asked to keep a log of travel and symptoms. But despite the challenges, those on the team are just happy to be back on the pitch after it was uncertain they'd be able to play this year at all. I'm just happy to be able to play right now because that was that's been the piece that's been missing for you know a few months now. And I think all these... These players are just grateful to be out doing what we love to do. I'm looking forward to getting a complete season in, um, even though this was kind of a good get your foot, get your feet wet season one. The club says there likely won't be any more matches for the rest of the year, but the team will be out doing community outreach events all year long, hoping for a real inaugural season next year. In Hamtramck, Grant Herms, Local 4.